Hey, Rapscallions, guess what? Uh, new report out by the manufacturer, not peer-reviewed, um, but we've got to talk about it. Anyway, this is a Pfizer study. This was the Epic HR trial, and it's of retinavir, and I think it's called Paxlorid. Paxlorid is the uh, pharmaceutical name. So let's be very clear, not peer-reviewed. This is just in a uh, press release. We would normally never talk about this stuff, but it's COVID time, so we have to. So this is a protein, uh, protease inhibitor, which stops the uh, virus from using your uh, DNA to replicate. So it's that step before you get to the mRNA part where you're like making lots of viruses. So this is a protease inhibitor. So uh, we like that. Because of this protease inhibition, it is not suggested for use in pregnancy yet until we get much bigger studies. So here are the results. This was an interim analysis of 1,219 patients. They'd planned 3,000, but they did plan an interim analysis. The results were so positive, they actually stopped the study at that point. So it's an oral drug taken Q 12 hours, and within five days of symptom onset, the study was in high-risk patients. They don't actually tell us exactly what a high-risk patient was. So high-risk patients within that first five days. Most of the patients came from the US, but also Europe and from Africa and South America. And uh, the endpoint was at 28 days, and it was death or hospitalization. So we really like these endpoints, really good, right? So they found an 89% reduction in death or hospitalization in this high-risk group of patients. We're talking three out of 389 versus 27 out of 385. So that's 0.8% versus 7%. You do the math, the number needed to treat of 16. There were zero deaths in the treatment group and 10 deaths in the placebo arm. There were no safety concerns, but again, this was not a big study. They tell us nothing about how much this puppy is gonna cost, and there's many more ongoing studies. So again, I would say we have to be very cautious about this. We need the peer-reviewed data, which no doubt will be coming very quickly. No doubt this data will be given to the FDA very quickly. No doubt we'll see an emergency youth authorization very quickly. We shouldn't be using this in pregnant patients. Vaccines are still the best way to not get this disease or to get a milder form of this disease, but this is a nice little puppy that uh, could be very, very helpful in the treatment of this disease. We also have no idea how quickly they can ramp up production of this. So there's many unanswered questions, but I thought we needed to talk about it. Just a little bit so you know, because it's in the news and people are discussing it. So Herbert out more soon, no doubt.